Okay, tell us about yourself, Douglas. Well, I'm an adjunct professor in uh, uh, music, philosophy, and religion at a small liberal arts college uh, outside of Boston called Curry College. And uh, I have just recently returned from some sabbatical explorations in sacred sound. Wow. Um, so I went to um, Nepal and to North India, to Himachal Pradesh, and uh, collected sounds. With May that. I ask you a very blunt question? Yes, please. As a, a highly intelligent and a trained intellectual, mm -hmm. and maybe a little bit of a crazy professor, mm -hmm. what do you have to do with Tong Ren? What do you see in Tong Ren? You are a sane person. You have oh. great intellect. Because we have been like looked upon as, you know, you people, you don't know, you don't know what you're doing. That that kind of look. The, sure. the the look down thing like, ugh. Do you really know what 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 you're doing? You're, why are you doing Tom Rand? You are, you are well, a highly well, evolved, what? educated person in an educational system in an in institution. But what makes sense to me about Tom Rand is that even if one uses music as a metaphor, what is music? Music is a constellation of vibrations. Yes. And are these the only vibrations that exist in the world? That's a good one. No, of course not. We That's live in a vibrational universe. We ourselves are constellations of vibrations. And so it, it it's a, a totally uh, uh, almost self-evident um, translation of sound uh, into these other dimensions. I studied Kundalini Yoga for mm -hmm. over a decade now. Mm -hmm. And in the Kundalini Yoga tradition, they understand that there are not just one, not just two or three, but there are up to ten energy bodies that each one of us is comprised of. Well, I mean, I can't see your ten bodies. You can't see my ten bodies. Are you talking about the chakras or not? No, it's different than the chakras. But it's a different way of envisioning and thinking about it. It is a concept, okay? And every concept has its limitations. This, of course, is my problem with Western medicine. Thank they you. Have, they, have, <laughs> they have concepts which are limiting. Thank you. I've been waiting to hear this. So, um... I think that the, the traditional Chinese um, uh, understanding of qi and of the body as a, a series of pathways mm -hmm. of, these, of this life force energy uh, just makes complete sense. Now, I must say that my mother had something to do with um, opening me to this craziness because my mom... Oh, so you do admit that you're crazy? <laughs> Welcome to the club. Yeah. But my mom, um, when I was 15, she started studying reflexology. Ah. So by the time I got to college, um, I had already had enough painful foot rubs by my mother. So she was a pioneer. Well, in, in, in a way. way, yeah, she was a, a, a she's a first generation. Uh, uh, she's an immigrant from Germany. Uh -huh. uh, mom always wanted to be a nurse, and. Uh, she never was able to go to school to become a nurse, but she found other ways of expressing that kind of care for mm -hmm. people's bodies. Mm -hmm. So that in, uh, in, in her history, in that small town in Mac McMinnville, Oregon, where I was raised, um, we had senators come to our house, and they would sit down and they say, before I leave, I have to have a foot rub from Honey Koch. Yeah. So that's also what opened me up to, aha, uh -huh. so why is it that you can rub a person's foot and their headache goes away, <laughs> or, or their stomach ache abates? You have been groomed for, yes. for all this. Right. And so it was just like uh, when, the tong, when I encountered the Tong Ren thing, I came on a, sort of an invitation by a couple of friends. Do you have any problems? when you came to class? Um, no, nothing that I was really looking uh, 
for, for help with, but I have a, a lovely little story about that. I came the first time, and I was wearing a shirt and tie, and Tom razzed me mercilessly about being, oh, so you're the only one here who's wearing a tie. And what's <laughs> his problem? Yeah, yeah. So um, I just said, no, 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 I, I, I'm just here observing you. So I came the next week with my two friends. With shirt and tie again? Uh, I think I was wearing shirt and tie again. How dare cheeky. you? Yes, I, I really was a cheeky fellow. So uh, then, then I said, well, yes, I do, I do have a um, uh, something that I think I could use your help with. Uh, the hearing in my left ear is deteriorating. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me and said, and it's not so hot in the right ear either. Ooh. And I was astounded, and I said. How do you know How this? do you know, yeah. He just he said, knows. He said, I can see it. Yeah, he can see so it. So he had, I think, um, one, one, of the, uh, one of the other students um, um, come over, and she hit me on my SI-16. You mean she literally hit she, you with her? No, no, she came over and she, she did two Examined. Nine. Yeah, no. Oh, did three now. Yeah, two okay. now. On, on that particular point, I thought I would go through the roof. It hurts. Oh, bad. yeah. Now. She did that on the left side, and then did it on the right side, and it didn't hurt anywhere near as much on the right side. Okay. All right, well, so that got my attention, you might say. How did he know that is SI-16? Right? Now, uh, that comes from his experience, from his intuition, and what he sees. sees. Yes. Okay, now can he see my ten bodies of the Kundalini Yoga tradition? Well, your aura or something, yeah. he sees something, your energy. He does. All your blockages, your, the blockage of the he energy. He senses that, correct. And Where the course. energy is stuck. So all of this theory about stuck energy as being blockages, mm -hmm. basically being uh, what ails us, what causes our diseases, completely true as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just is totally um, a concept that... Um, makes complete sense to me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've been playing around with this stuff.